it is finally time to talk about this. To talk about lengths. To talk about how I went from literally hair like this, damaged, scary, <laughs> falling out, to my hair like this, healthy, shiny, thick as hell, voluminous, and living its best life. This has been a really long awaited video. I've gotten so many requests to do this video because you guys have seen those of who have those of you have been, those of you who have been following my journey, uh you know that I was previously bleach blonde. I mean like my hair was almost white from root to tip. Right now I have my natural color so you can see how dark it is and how much of a huge transition that was and what a toll that blonde hair took on my hair. Man, was it a look? It was a look. It was a look. It was a vibe. You know what wasn't a vibe? When my hair started falling out and I had pieces that were this long up here. <laughs> that wasn't a vibe. A lot of you are like, girl, how the hell did you do it? Like, how is your hair still not up to your ears? <laughs> With that being said, what is up, my beautiful people? It's your girl, Cassidy. If this is your first time at my channel, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. And let's go over how I got my hair super healthy again. Let's take a minute to give some love to today's sponsors. Today's video is partially sponsored by Ceremonia. And these are some of the best, best hair products. I have ever used and I honestly was waiting to do this video to share what really really worked for my hair and that is why I decided to partner with my ceremonia um, I'm gonna share their products with you later on along with other things that I have been doing just so you guys can get the full picture from beginning to where I'm at now with my hair journey. But I do want to mention that if you get the chance to check out Ceremonia, make sure you use my code CAS10 for 10% off of your order and you guys can save yourself some money if you decide to shop the brand. So back in 2018, I think, 2018, oh my gosh, I decided to go bleach blonde. For those of you who didn't follow me at that time, I went bleach blonde literally from root to tip. In the beginning, it was super healthy. Very, you know, obviously that was a huge process, so the texture definitely changes, um, but it wasn't breaking off or anything for a long time. I was able to keep the bleach blonde for close to two years, which is a really long time. Um, a lot of people, you know, if you dye your hair blonde, even if sometimes you get highlights, you can just feel the damage. Towards the end, I started getting a little lazy. I was using a blow dryer that was not good for my hair. It would like start to burn it. And that was when I realized, oh girl, I have got to go back to the dark side. I had to dye my hair back because things were breaking so much, partially because of the uh, blow dryer that I was using. It wasn't a good quality blow dryer. And then it was also partially because I had gotten lazy with taking care of making sure I'm doing masks and moisturizing the bleach blonde hair and protecting it at all costs. I decided to just quit the blonde, a very sad moment. I still miss the blonde sometimes, but I do not miss the damaged hair. I am like so obsessed with the quality and the health of my hair right now. Once I went back to brunette, I kept the brunette for a while, but I was really trying to hold on to the length, uh, which was kind of a mistake because it was just so unhealthy. Even after you dye it back to brown, it doesn't make it, doesn't make it healthy again because the blonde and the damage is still underneath that dark brown color. My hair was breaking so bad and I'll try to find some pictures to show you guys where my hair was like this long on these like couple front pieces. I would have to like tuck them in and tuck it behind my ears to hide all of the breakage. Like I would literally tuck my hair under here. The texture of it just felt terrible. This was around the time that I started dating my fiance Moody and he told me later on that he had wondered like why my hair feels so rough? Like why just such a rough texture? <laughs> and now he's like, wow, your hair is actually so soft. I'm like, yeah, this is my hair. This is my hair. That other thing, I don't know what that was. After that, I decided um, that I needed to go for a big chop. That was when I cut my hair up to my chin. That allowed my hair to really begin its growing out process. So my number one suggestion is if your hair is damaged to the point of no return, you have to do a cut. If we're talking dye damage, we're talking breakage, there has to be a cut. There's really 
no way around it, right? Suggestion number one, do a big chop. I know we sometimes get attached to our long hair, but in the long run, if it's gonna be better for your hair, you might as well do it. So I just took the plunge, I did a big chop, I literally cut it like, up, it was like up to my neck. I remember during the haircut, he kind of shaved my neck, the back of my neck a little because it was literally that short. It reached my hairline and came right next to my chin. I will insert a picture here so you guys can see how that looked. Um, it was a look for a while, but even when I chopped it here, I had so much breakage up here that the chop was at my chin, but I had like bangs. I had bangs that were not intentional bangs, they were literally just bangs from the breakage, from what broke off, that turned into bangs. <laughs> and literally, you guys, since I cut it up to that bob, I have not gotten a haircut. So that's another little tip. Once you cut nearly all of the damage off, try just to not cut your hair. Everyone's like, how did your hair grow so fast? How did your hair grow so fast? And I'm like, honestly, I did one big chop and I literally did not touch it since then, till this day. I know right now it looks like I have some cut layers into my hair, but when my hair was up to my chin, it was literally like this. So imagine this just shorter. It was literally like that. <laughs> literally like up to my chin, but I had these shorter pieces from the breakage. So as it grew out, it just kind of grew into layers, which kind of worked out in my, in my favor, I guess. That big chop allowed my hair to fully grow out and I just left it alone while doing treatments and different things to just help my hair grow to its healthiest potential, help my scalp be as healthy as it can. And honestly, you guys, that is where Ceremonia comes in. Their products have allowed my scalp to be so healthy. And when you have a healthy scalp, your hair is able to grow stronger, grow faster. When you're using low quality shampoos and conditioners, there there is like gunk that seeps into the pores of your scalp and it doesn't allow your hair to grow uh, in a clean way and grow as fast as possible. So tip number three in this whole hair care thing, you have to take care of your scalp. You have to have a healthy scalp. And this product right here is what allowed me to have an extremely healthy scalp. This is Ceremonia's Aceite de Mosca. And First of all, I love Ceremonia because they are a Latina-owned brand. Aceite de Mosca is an oil that was originally used for years and years and years by Dominican people to moisturize their scalp, but Ceremonia has taken all of the dyes and all of the bad things out of the original Aceite de Mosca and they created this formula, which is super clean, super healthy for your hair. The way that I use it is I literally uh, wait until, you know, I'm ready to wash my hair. I part my hair in different sections and I just load this baby up all over my scalp. I place it on the base of my scalp, the back. I just use this droplet. The droplet is super easy to use as well. That makes it so much easier to distribute the product evenly throughout my scalp. So I literally just part my hair all over and make sure my scalp is saturated in this baby right here. Now that the oil is nice and smooth into my hair, uh, I go in with this scalp massager. Now you can use this uh, in the shower to massage in your shampoo. This feels like a freaking dream, you guys, I swear. You know when you go to the salon and you get massaged at the sink? This is like an at-home hair head massage for you. <laughs> you just place it on one area of your head and you do small circular motions like this. Literally doing this right now, I could honestly fall asleep. I like to use this in combination with the Aceite de Mosca because it really just lets the oil sink and massage into my scalp. I use the uh, scalp massager with the oil in my hair. Um, and then I just tie my hair back and I leave this in for about 15 to 20 minutes. I use this about once a week. I'm telling you, this is the thing that has made my hair. You see how shiny my hair is? It's so shiny. And I know my hair looks very soft, but my hair is thick. I have 
a lot of hair and I truly feel like this oil has allowed my scalp to be so cleansed and so decluttered like it cleans all of that gunk that shampoos and conditioners leave in your hair it cleans your scalp to the point where you have I have no dandruff literally no dandruff no buildup on my scalp and I truly feel that's what's allowed my hair to grow in so shiny and smooth and thick um, so yeah this has made just a huge difference this scalp oil 10 out of 10 like highly highly recommend if there's gonna be one thing that you try from ceremonia I think it should be this. So now that I am at the step where I'm ready to wash off the Aceite de Mosca scalp oil, I go ahead in with my shampoo and conditioner and the one that I've been using is also by Ceremonia. This is the Shampoo de Yucca and Witch Hazel and the Acondicionar de Cupacu <laughs> and Castor. So this one has Witch Hazel that really cleanses your hair but doesn't strip it, doesn't make it dry. It doesn't have any harsh chemicals like Everything in here is just good, clean ingredients. It cleanses the hair without completely stripping it, without making it dry, and without having those harsh chemicals that are just not doing any nourishing for your hair. And then the conditioner has castor oil, which helps your hair grow immensely. Super, super moisturizing and just makes it feel lush and smooth and soft. My tip number four, you guys have to upgrade your shampoo and conditioner. I know it can be annoying to not buy drugstore shampoo and conditioner anymore because trust me, that's what we're used to going to as kids. We just grew up that way. I'm sure you feel me, but it's time to upgrade, ladies and gentlemen. We need to get good quality stuff. So I chose my Ceremonia shampoo and conditioner and I absolutely love how these have transformed my hair. And not to mention, they smell so good. Oh my god, it literally smells like a dream. Every time I wash my hair with these, also after I come out the shower, my hair dries, all of that, my fiance is literally like attached to my scalp, just like smelling my hair because he's like, how does that smell so good? <laughs> I will leave my Ceremonia's website down below and don't forget to use the code CAS10 for 10% off of your order. You guys know that I would not be mentioning these to you guys if I didn't actually use them and I didn't actually love them. So I recommend you check them out. Okay, last shower step. This is an extra step that I do maybe two or three times a month and that is a conditioning mask. So it's not something that I do all the time um, and it's not something that if you, if your hair gets oily easily, you might not need this. But when transitioning from extremely damaged hair to super healthy hair, doing a conditioning mask on top of this stuff has helped my hair a lot. It helps it become stronger. It gives it the vitamins and the nutrients it needs to be soft instead of having that like rough, like burnt feeling. You know, if you know what I'm talking about, you know. You know that feeling when you run your finger through your hair and you're just like, that don't feel nice. <laughs> when I would want to give my hair that extra treat, when it needed that extra hydration, I was using the Macadamia Nourishing Hydrating Hair Mask. I think I'm saying that right, but I completely ran out of the product. So I will just insert a picture right here. This hair mask is really, really good, you guys. I would use this mask and feel such a difference in my hair. It was huge to me. So incorporating a hydrating conditioning hair mask at the end of shampooing and conditioning your hair I highly recommend using it even if it's only once a month so that is it for the shower routine that is what I do to kind of leading up until any kind of heat application on my hair I prep my hair to really be hydrated and moisturized when it comes to my oil my scalp massage shampoo conditioner hair mask I really make sure my hair is strong enough to be prepared to have a little bit of heat on it just a little bit if you're recovering from damaged hair and you're trying to get your hair to grow try to avoid heat as much as you can luckily this summer i was able to avoid heat because i was just embracing my natural waves of my hair doing my hair a lot more natural and just leaving like the ceremonia leave-in conditioner which i also really love there are times where i do want to put heat in my hair like right now i have a little blowout look and I have to mention the styling tool that I've been using 
To minimize heat, I've been letting my hair air dry instead of putting a blow dryer to it. Um, so I let it air dry and then I go in with this flat iron right here. I have never had such a good flat iron. Like, and I've talked about this in my stories. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me, like I link it for you guys all the time. This flat iron is the T3 Lucia ID flat iron and I will have it linked down below for you guys. I would spend money on this flat iron over and over and over again, and I really, really feel, the reason why I'm recommending this flat iron is because I truly believe that it made a difference in keeping the quality of my hair. I've used other flat irons. I've even like forgot this at home and then I've used like my friend's flat irons, and the difference that it makes in the hair texture, the way that these, um, like plates here allow my hair to literally just slide through the temperature is customizable so you can keep it on a low temperature and it is just it's not on right now but it is literally like the smoothest thing ever the way my hair just glides through this there's literally no tug at all it is it's just so smooth and I really feel like having a good quality flat iron if you're gonna put heat on your hair because it might be inevitable. Make sure you're using something high quality, tools that are high quality because it makes a difference. If you go on the T3 Micro website, that is this flat iron brand, T3 Micro. This one is the T3 Lucia ID. And I'm pretty sure the only difference to the regular T3 Lucia, which is $100 cheaper, is just that it has the touch screen like button. So I recommend if you wanna save $100, just buy the T3 Lucia regular one and it has a button like push to press but the plates are exactly the same. The, it's, it's all white, that's the only difference. It doesn't have this like rose gold here but like the plates and the quality are exactly the same. This one is just kind of like the upgraded like high tech version of the T3 Lucia so it's $100 more. So I recommend saving your coin get it for $150 rather than $250 and it's basically the same flat iron. <laughs> so that is the tea. That's the tea on my hair. But I have to give a huge shout out to my ceremonia for making a serious difference in my hair. Not just, you know, something that lays over the top of my hair and doesn't really do anything. Healthy scalp, healthy hair, healthy grow out. Don't forget to check out the link down below, myceremonia.com and use my code CAS10 for 10% off of your order. Highly recommend, and I hope you guys find it in your hearts to support the brand. As always, I wanna thank you guys for watching today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe because you know how much it means to me from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.